This is the Tiguan Elevator Kolel. I'm Boral Fleischman, your lift manager, and the lift today is in the Tiguni Zohar. It's a Hagdama, actually, the Tiguni Zohar. The Tiguni Zohar is seven different faces, that's what they call them, of the word voracious. Now, you could spell it differently, it has different meanings. But over here, we're in a different place. We're in the Pasach Eliyahu, where Eliyahu began to speak, and these are the words that he said. He's speaking directly to the Rabbanu Shalalim, who he says the Ain of Baruch And these are a little, sta- this is a little sta- statement that he makes. We spoke about the ten spheros, and we said some different ideas of what the word sphero could mean, but at any rate, it's some bright, shining place. Why is it shining like that? Because the light of the Ain Sof is within them. But they pose in a position that allows them to limit that light so that it can be digestible to us and we could flower and become blessed with the light, that light as well. So here we are physically and we're, let me, let's just read. I was up here. That's where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Now this seems to me this phrase in the, the simple translation that it is you that ties them together and makes them into one. So here he's talking really, it seems to me, about the cause behind the tying together and the making of oneness. It is you, he says, and acknowledging that makes everything work when we can bring them all together because it is you, that is your will that you want us to do. Now let's see what the Mata Bidavash says. It's not a big piece. And he says, Antu de Kashalom. It's you. Well, I don't think I have it on the page. There it is. Antu de Kashalom. Bahatu Shukoshur Esa Esa Spheros. It's you that ties the ten spheros together. She, you, Muhubarm, that she should be joined together. Muhusharm and tied together. Zeb, Zeb, they work as a system that is your will. O miyached loan, and you make them into one. There's a miyached, there's a chabesod, yichud apartsufim, and a secret which is called the yichud of all the different systems of refining your light. Ki ha'ein sof baruchu shuhu ha'neshama. He is the neshama ha'neshamos, as a spheros. Let's read it again. Ki ha'ein sof baruchu shuhu ha'neshama. What is he now? The word neshama, we know that it refers to the word soul translated in English, but what it really means? It means the panemius, the light, the panemius of the light of Hashem inside. And now he adds another thought. Shuhu ha neshama the neshamos. It's the panemius. This is what you say in Kabbalah. It's the inside of the inside. In other words, inside the light of Hashem, which is inside of it, there's an even higher level of closeness within that. So he says, Shuhu Anushama Lanushama Saesphirus, it is the Ains of Barho who causes all things to be bound. Meshefa Shefa Ma excuse me, Mashpia Shefa constantly pouring Bauti and Brocho to Midi Bechem the Habram the Layachtam to join them together, to make them into one, and to make them well into Yachid, into into one again. Now, this is borne out in marriage. So I'm a big proponent of marriage. And I'm not the world's greatest husband. And what could you say? Somehow the blending of two people who are very opposite and very different in everything come together and they make a blending. It's not necessarily easy and it's not a permanent thing. It goes in, but the nature of it is it goes in, it goes out. Sometimes you're very close and sometimes you're not. Judaism has really wonderful mechanisms for this, but life is hard. And uh, this is necessary to really make lots and lots of sacrifices for the sake of the oneness of the family. And it works. This is Baruch Fleischman and Satiko and Elevator Kolo. We've been listening the beginnings of the Tikkuni Zohar in the Pasach Aliyahu.